One of the important principles of dissection is finding the natural planes between tissues and proceeding in a direction that offers the least resistance and least bleeding. These tissue planes are usually found between tissues of differing densities in their anatomic configurations. In this exercise, we are going to separate tissues using retraction along with spreading and cutting techniques. On the board, you find a fluffy yellow surface that simulates subcutaneous fats. Adhered to this is a large piece of white material representing fascia or scar. In turn, adhered to this are several red strips and mesh that simulate tight tissue planes or scar. The goal is to accurately separate these tissues. Let's begin with a piece of red cloth attached to the simulated fascia. To remove this, we will need to use our forceps to retract superiorly and away, and then with small cuts and spread with the Metzenbaum scissors, gently define the plane between the different materials. Sometimes the tissue planes will be soft and fairly free. If this is the case, the scissors can be used in a spreading motion to continue the separation. If, however, the tissue plane is tight, then small cutting strokes are preferable. As you continue the removal of one simulated tissue from another, you should grasp as close as possible to the region that you are cutting or spreading to allow the greatest amount of traction to be applied. Continue this for a short distance. There may be situations when the tissues are so adherent that the scissors just can't gain any purchase on the tissues to divide them. This is simulated by the mesh material. In this case, it's time for the scalpel. Once again, you should grasp the edge of the tissue to be removed with your forceps and retract superiorly and away from you. The knife is held like a pencil and the very end is used to develop a plane. For this type of dissection, it is imperative that the length of the strokes be limited since important structures may be close by. Sudden bleeding can be catastrophic. Once all of the red material has been removed, the remaining white strip should be cut in several sections with a scalpel. It then can be removed from the yellow surface by cutting and spreading fairly easily. When you have completed this task, there should be little of the simulated subcutaneous tissue on the removed specimen. Next, we are going to put everything together for the removal of tissues from the subcutaneous space. <laughs> 